Welcome back to Ramp Safety Course, understanding safety in ground handling operations on aircraft stands. In this lecture, we are going to discuss the importance and scope of ramp safety to find what is the big deal with safety on the ramp and why is there even such a term as ramp safety. You will learn why it is an important matter in aviation and why so much literature is produced and standards developed to address this topic. To begin with, let us look at some studies conducted on accidents and incidents in aviation. The first study we are presenting is conducted by National Aerospace Laboratory in Netherlands. The research analyzed more than 2,800 incidents from 14 million flights around the world to find the scope of ground handling accidents and incidents. The research found that all of the reported aircraft incidents, more than 26% happened when the aircraft was on ground. If we separate all of the ground incidents and further categorize where incidents are taking place, we find that 84% incidents take place when the aircraft is standing. That is, it is parked on the aircraft stand. It clearly shows that safety in ground handling of aircraft needs to be given its due share of importance and within ground handling, ramp activities are the most important as they involve the greatest number of incidents worldwide. Similarly, Flight Safety Foundation in United States estimated that 27,000 ramp accidents and incidents happen worldwide that equates to one accident per thousand departures. These accidents and incidents injure 243,000 people yearly worldwide. Now that we have looked at these stats, a natural question is why ramp is prone to such accidents and incidents? Is there something inherent in ramp operations that compromises safety and causes accidents and incidents to take place? To understand the problem better, we will have to look at the dynamics of operations and activities that take place on an aircraft stand. We have already explained the sequence of activities that take place on arrival of an aircraft. An aircraft lands and reaches the aircraft stand and then takes off for the departing flight. An aircraft earns revenue by flying from destination to destination. It does not generate revenue when it is on ground. That is why there is a lot of pressure on airline staff to get the aircraft back in the air as soon as possible. The term used for describing how much time an aircraft takes to get back in the air is called turnaround time. Airline and ground handling agencies strive for reducing the turnaround time of their flight and the major player in reducing this time is the ramp. The aircraft can turn around as soon as the ramp operations are completed. This imposes a time pressure on ramp staff to complete the ground support operations so that the aircraft becomes ready for departure. This time pressure is just one of the obvious reasons behind ramp accidents and incidents. That is, time pressure alone is not the only contributing factor to ramp accidents and incidents. It is the amount of movement of men and machines that take place within this constrained time pressure environment that causes untoward occurrences. To develop better understanding of the movement and traffic we are talking about, we will look in more detail the sequence of operations on an aircraft stand in our next lecture.